Hi, welcome to Heart Ninja. This is part two of the Melody Dojo overview and how, showing how to play tunes. Uh, if you haven't seen part one, I recommend you look at that first before you look at this one as uh, things will make a little bit more sense. Let's go into the Diatonic Tuning Dojo. So the Melody Dojo, uh, we select tunes here. So uh, let's just go in and play a tune. We'll stick to uh, when the Saints are, go marching in. Uh, and I'll show you some how it, the Melody Dojo uh, and playing a tune relates to the standard tuning dojo view. So we're going to play a song here. It's coming down. Okay. I'm going to start to see it come down. Okay. So the song's playing there normally in the, the scroll mode. We're starting to come down here. Now you can actually change the view here and go back into the tuning dojo. And what will happen is while the song's still playing, these notes will show up as a, you'll get a, a visual representation when the note is starting to play here. And uh, you'll be able to, it's a little bit different way. So if you imagine you're looking straight down from a, a vertical view of the harmonica here, this is looking straight on, obviously. So you won't see the note scrolling down because it's coming at you um, in the uh, horizontal direction, whereas this way it's coming down the vertical direction. So let's just start playback and we'll show. Okay, you can see the notes playing there and you've got the same controls here on the bottom right. And we can just swap between views there and you can see. So we've got a four note coming up here. Let's play. So it's a little bit different. Um, it's handy uh, to be able to switch between the two views because uh, once you've got the melody in your head by learning it in the piano roll view of the Melody Dojo, I call it piano roll because it, it's very similar to how we view notes in uh, most digital audio software um, as well, but it's actually a harmonica roll, I guess, is a better way of putting it. Um, but you can also go into the zoom view. Uh, let's start playback there. Well, actually, let's just take that down there so you can see. So you can see in the in the tuning dojo view, the notes show up like that when they're playing. You're, you're getting and by playing your harmonica, you can see that your your note will play. You know when you can see when your note is hitting the same note, and the red flashing one is the the song playback note. And uh, if you want to, you can go back to this mode here. You can play with the transparency slider if you just want to visualize a note, but if you want an overlay of the intervals to show what's playing, this is where this is actually quite useful here. If you put it into interval mode and then hit playback, you can actually get an understanding of the song structure in terms of melodic intervals, what's playing. Uh, if we want to hear it, change the speed playback. That might not be coming uh, through too much on the microphone there, um, coming through my speakers.
And when you go back uh, at, the end, at the end of the song, the, the <clears throat> finished dialogue will pop up and will tell you how many notes you've hit. The same things work. Uh, you could replay here. It's essentially the same dialogue. Uh, pull up the play tune, uh, select a different song, or actually exit just back to here, this mode here. So it's a different way of uh, visualizing. Um, I would recommend you start off uh, using it in this mode in the Melody Dojo uh, harmonica roll slash piano roll view because the notes come down and it's easier to see them. As you get familiar with this and you get the melody in your head, um, you can go back into this view and it's a little, because it's a little bit harder because you don't get any warning so much of the notes, it just starts playing. But because you've got a little bit more experience, you can locate the notes faster on the harmonica so you don't need as much time to react. Um, and it's starting to work in the mode that you visualize in your head, this in, in this tuning dojo mode. And then if you really want to, you can go back into fully into the zoom mode and take out all the notes and just look at the visualization. Uh, so in learning terms, we call that scaffolding. Um, you have a, a graded series of steps uh, to help you learn uh, the Melody Dojo mode here being the first level because you've got that scrolling view as the notes come down. You've got, you've got the pause mode where they'll stop and hold and wait for you to play. As you get a little bit more experience with that, you can um, change the speed, play with the, the speed slider, which is down here when it pops up on the bottom, bottom right. Uh, pause mode for, to begin with. Uh, song starts and then the controls will pop up here. So this would be your, your first. You're working on easy mode where the speed is slow. You've got pause mode engaged so it will wait for you to play. So if you go back into here you can see that that is the note that's playing there, which corresponds to this one here. And then if we look here, that we'll see another note flash up here. So we have four hole blow, and we can see how that corresponds there. Um, and then as you get used to this, uh, you can start playing it faster. And then when you're really comfortable, I'd, I'd say probably if you're comfortable playing on normal speed where the speed slider is up here about halfway, then you can probably start playing with this mode here because you know you're starting to get the melody in your head. And So just a different way of, of working with it. Um, very tight integration. The same thing holds if you want to cancel the song, you just pull up the tune dialogue and select another song, or then you can go back into the tuning dialogue. So essentially they do the same and you won't see the, currently the song controls don't show up in zoom mode. Uh, if you want to change them, you have to play it here, but that's basically a little bit more of a, uh, advanced use of the song playback and melody dojo and how it integrates into the tuning dojo. Um, next up we'll look at uh, some other features um, of Harp Ninja. <laughs> 